Welcome to a diverse heritage of Guyanese cooking and a little twist from around the world. Here is where food and culture is rich and pure, where freshness blooms and happiness overflow. Food brings us together wherever we go. Hi guys, welcome back to Sherman's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing a beautiful recipe for a cassava and salted fish surprise. I have my salted wild cod here. I'm going to soak it for about two to four hours. I want to walk you through the recipe step by step. So it's not called salted fish for no reason. If you can hear that, it is packed with salt. So that's the reason why we have to soak it and then boil it to get out all that excess salt or else your dish will be very salty. So before I soak this, I usually rinse it out to get out all that top layer of the salt. After soaking the salted fish for four hours, I have fresh water in my pan. I'm going to boil the fish out for about half an hour to 40 minutes so we can get out any excess salt. I have some fresh cassava that I'm going to be preparing to make our cassava and salted fish surprise. I'm just going to cut them and you have to make sure that it's they're nice and white if they have any blue looking or dark um, color inside they're not good so I'm gonna cut these up and I have a little helper who loves to peel cassava she already asked me mom can I help you to peel these cassava and I, I said no and she wasn't happy so now I have to let her I'm gonna take the camera and she's gonna show you guys how she peeled these cassava because now she's an expert so this is how we like to do it so once you give it a little slit there, you just take your knife and slowly, slowly run it under the skin and you will get a smooth peel and it looks so nice when you finish taking off the skin. Look at that. You make yourself a bangle now. Look at the skin. Right? Oh, yeah. So cool. So we're going to continue with this and I like to do this with Natalie. We get some bonding time here and then I'll show you once we finish peeling all of them. So after rinsing the cassava nicely, this is what I like to do. And I'm going to just cut them in halves like that. And then we'll take out this middle piece here. You can do it after you finish cooking it but I find it's easier to do it now and these are ready to be cooked the, this middle vein here is very chewy and it's not delicious in the food so a good tip is to take it out because it's not edible I just added the cassava to some water and a teaspoon of salt we're gonna cook the cassava until it's nice and soft and tender 20 minutes of cooking time our cassava is nice and soft and tender but it depends sometimes they take longer sometimes they cook quicker so I'm gonna drain these out and mash them because they will mash quicker when they're hot so the cassava is nice and soft and I'm gonna go in with my masher look at that we're gonna mash this and I'll leave it to cool off before I start doing anything else with the cassava now our cassava is nice and cold I'm gonna add some black pepper 
And I'm just gonna add about half a teaspoon. I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the description below if I miss anything. So please check out the description for any ingredients. I'm gonna add some salt and I'm not adding a lot. I'm just gonna add a little bit because we're using salted fish as well. So just to have control over the salt, I'm gonna add my green seasoning and I'm going in with about two heaping tablespoons. And my green seasoning is contained of garlic, fine thyme, green onions, and some maruguri pepper. I'm gonna mix this in with my hand. After mixing the cassava with all the ingredients, it is looking very nice. You can see that greenish color in there and that's from our green seasoning. I taste a little and it have enough flavor for me. So we're gonna move on to the salted fish now. So for our salted fish preparation, I have here the salted fish. After I finish boiling it, I rinse it out two more times with regular room temperature water and I loosen it up a little. So all that salt that's hiding in between, we can get rid of it. I have here an onion finely chopped, flat leaf parsley finely chopped, green onions finely chopped, mariwiri pepper or wiriwiri pepper for flavor and I have a clove of garlic. I have some tomato paste. Let's go put this salted fish together. Just before the oil is steaming hot and to avoid the splattering, I add the fish into the pan. I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes to take out that rawness from the fish. And we're gonna add those lovely seasonings that we just chopped up finely. So now I'm gonna add my clove of garlic into the fish. So it can blend in nicely into the fish. The garlic smell nice as soon as you add it to the fish here. I'm gonna go in with my tomato paste and I'm adding one tablespoon. You can use tomatoes for this recipe as well, but I find that the tomatoes leave a lot of water and especially for this dish, we wanna avoid it to too much on the wet side. We wanna try our best to remove as much moisture as we can. So this is my this is the reason why I'm using tomato paste instead of fresh tomatoes. Now my helper would like to add the rest of the seasoning. So we're gonna switch spots and she's gonna do what I'm doing and I'm gonna do what she's doing. So now Lee's gonna add the onions now. It's okay, you can put all at the same time. So onion is added. And I'm adding the ingredients step by step because we want the, the fish to cook with a lot of flavor. She's gonna go in with her flat leaf parsley now. Wow, look at that beautiful color in there. And then you can add your green onions and your pepper. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, right? Yeah. You like doing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, put your peppers. Good job. So I'm going to mix all the goodies in. It looks beautiful in color. The fish have a nice color from that tomato paste. And it is nice and have a good texture that I need for this. Not too um, moist. So this is ready. 
and we're gonna let it cool down a little before we move to the next step. So now I'm gonna show the surprise, the cassava and the um, salted fish surprise. This is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna add some of the salted fish in the middle here. And this is my surprise. So when we cut open our cassava, we're gonna have the center filled with the salted fish. So it takes a little bit time to get it nicely put together like that. And then there you have it, our cassava and salted fish surprise. One of my aunts used to make this back home and I used to love it. So this is what it looks like, like an egg ball, but instead you're putting the salted fish. So happy Ash Wednesday to all those who are celebrating today. So I'm gonna show another one. I have the salted fish in the center. I'm just covering it up now with the cassava. And you can also make this with some potato if you don't have cassava handy. So I'm gonna continue with the rest and I will show the next step after this. Uh, here is my cassava and salted fish surprise. Already finished putting them together. I'm gonna start the frying process now and we will reveal the taste in a few minutes. So I'm putting my cassava surprise in some egg batter and we're gonna fry these up into the hot oil. So we're gonna fry them until they're nice and golden brown on all sides and they will be ready soon. So here is our cassava and salted fish surprise. I have some blended cucumbers, garlic, pepper, cilantro, and a little bit pinch of salt to go with this. And look at the beautiful filling in the middle. So there's our surprise. Hope you guys like this recipe and you can give it a try. If you do, please send me a picture. I will post it back as a success story. I want to shout out to um, Richard Rampersad. He is one of my viewers and one of my subscribers who tried a few recipe and he was very happy with it. So a uh, big shout out to you, Richard Rampersad. So let me play it up and I have a taste tester tonight that volunteered to do my taste test. So let's get on with the tasting. Hi. We have a little taste tester. Hi. Hi. So let us know how our cassava surprise tastes if you like this, Natalie. Okay. Let me take the Let me know if it have too much salt. It's amazing. You like it? Yeah. I like the sauce too. The sauce is good? Yeah. So that is our cassava and salted fish surprise. And Natalie gave us her review. Now, Natalie. I would like you guys to subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell so you get notified if we post any new videos. Love you guys. Peace out. Stay safe. Bye for now. Bye.